Okay, I'm gonna go out one more. And now I'm gonna do a couple more commands. Um, another one that's good to know is touch. What that does is it creates a file. And then the parameter to touch is gonna be what you want your file to be called. So I'm just gonna say like test.txt. And now look, you just saw it create a little te text file right there. So, um, well, uh, what do you do with the text file? Let's edit the text file. Um, a command line editor that I really like is nano. It's really easy. Just <laughs> it's, If you get used to it, it's really easy to use. So just nano uh, text.txt. Boom, now I'm in the text file. It's a blank text file, so it doesn't have anything in it. So let's say, um, this is some text. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, all right, now you can see the little commands here. This means, this little caret symbol means control. So let's see, I wanna write this out. So I'm gonna go control O and then enter. And then I'm gonna now I wanna exit, so control X. Okay, now I just hopefully changed the text, the test.txt file. So let's go in here. Let's open with, uh, what's your favorite text editor? Ah, oh, Sublime. Yeah, this is some text. Woo! <laughs> All right. Um, and then I can even do this. Let's say uh, I'm going to change these to whoop, whoop. <laughs> Save and then exit out, and then now I'm gonna go in here and again. Well, you, I can just press the up arrow, and that'll you can toggle through your past commands just using the up and down arrows. So I'm gonna go up arrow. That'll run it again. Oh, look now, um, now it changed the, the whoop, the woos, the whoop whoops. Um, so it works pretty cool like that. Um, Control X. I don't need to write out this time because I haven't made any changes. So just Control X. Um, and now let's see. Now what I want to do is, um, let's let's make a new. Well, first I'm gonna delete the test file since I don't really want that. Um, and a good command to know to delete things is RM, and that stands for remove. Um, and when you are just deleting a file, you don't need anything else besides the file name. So test dot text. Um, later I'll show you what you need to do if it's a directory or a folder and a directory are the same thing. I don't know. That's like common knowledge or whatever. I didn't know that uh, when I first started. So um, RM, boom, deletes it. And you have to be really, really careful with RM because um, especially if you do slash dash F, so if you flag it with an F like this, um, RM slash F because that says force so it'll suppress the warnings and, we'll, and it like won't ask you and it won't even move it to your trash or your recycling bin it'll just <laughs> put it off into no man's land or wherever RM files go I don't even want to know um, <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna try um, another one I'm gonna try mkdir which stands for make directory and then I'm gonna call it a new directory um, boom and then there it is right there new directory um, if I want to delete a directory RM if you want to delete everything inside the directory dash R stands for recursive and you know what I'm just going to go I'm going to go dash R you don't have to go dash R dash F you can just RF like combine them together like that and then the F is going to be forceful, so it's not going to ask whether or not you want to actually delete it. So, <laughs> um, hopefully, there's nothing dangerous here. Um, don't try this at home. <laughs> okay, so, oh, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't put the directory. New directory. Boom. Now it's gone. You just saw it disappear there. Okay. Um, I think that those are pretty much some of the basic commands. So now that you know how to do some of the basic commands, I'm going to show you how to use the command line for um, GitHub, uh, or just Git in general. <laughs> well, first I have to explain the difference between Git and GitHub. Basically, Git is a, a control management, or a, a, no, a version control system, VCS, not like CVS, but like VCS. 
um, <laughs> a, v a version control system. And what that does is it, um, it kind of, a VCS, uh, I don't know, what's the best way to describe it? It's like, it's like, okay, so say you're writing an essay and you finish the first draft of it and you're like, wow, that was, that was really good. It was awesome. But you're like, hmm, but I'm feeling a little bit adventurous. I'm going to try to make a change, but I don't know how much I'm going to like it. So I'm going to save a version here and then I'm going to make a change. And then if I hate my change in the future, then I can just say like, oh, let's check out that version. I want that old version. I want that first draft because I think that that's the best version. So that's kind of what a version control system does. But um, normally the version, the VCS of Git is used for code. I guess it could be used for anything you really wanted it to be used for, but um, <laughs> that would be kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know.